I invite you to consider what the act of changing water into wine is actually showing us. Christ is saying to you, I am come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. By changing the water into wine, he is showing you the way to the place where supply exists in great and limitless measure. And this is how he changed the water into wine. And this is how he multiplied the fishes and the loaves to feed the 5,000. In the book of John, we read, And there are many other things that Jesus did. Were every one to be written down, the whole world could not contain the books that would be written. Being a Lord, Christ is able to control the power that flows through him from the source of all. And therefore, in seeing a need, he can answer it immediately. And we will all come to that stage of development. But in the meantime, the changes that we make in our outlook on life must be those that we make ourselves. Nobody can do this work for us. But nothing is intended to limit us once we know the source of all goodness. Our Lord taught that the only thing that limits us is our own state of consciousness. His mother, the Holy Mother of God, the Master Mary, the World Mother, is showing you the way to abundant life through the mystical life of her son. Now I know that when the time came for you to decide if you would abandon all and answer his call to follow him, you all said yes. So I say this to you purely as a reminder. Do whatever he tells you.